Um, yeah, it was a really, really difficult conditions. It's very hot and humid here, as everyone knows. Certainly that presents a uh, challenge all in and of itself. Um, Houston's a good team at home and certainly very good on counterattacks, as we saw. Uh, so overall, really, really proud of the effort that we put out tonight. Uh, I think it was a really good team win in a place that's difficult to play against a good opponent. Uh, they obviously haven't lost here all year, so um, we know that they're really strong at home. Um, and for us to come in and put out a performance like that, I was really, really proud of the, of the team. Robin, what was your overall assessment of the first half? You know, first 20 minutes, really, really good play. Obviously, get the goal early, and then Houston kind of turns things on um, and then ultimately, you know, carries that all the way through to getting getting the PK. I mean, were you, you know, was it more happy with the start? What adjustments was Houston making that made it difficult in the second half of the first half? I thought we started well, obviously, to have the ball in their end of the field for four or five minutes couple of corner kicks, put them under pressure, and then to score one that early is certainly the dream start. Uh, and then after that, I thought we were <clears throat> uh, fairly comfortable for, as you said, about half of the half. And then I think we just got a little bit loose, a little bit careless. We had a few turnovers um, that really eroded our momentum. And certainly they started to gain momentum out of it. Uh, and then toward the end of the half, it really just became kind of back and forth. I thought we... Uh, we're not as clean defensively as we needed to be, and they took advantage of that and uh, certainly had a few opportunities, and in the end, ultimately getting the penalty kick. Um, so we were obviously disappointed to give up the goal then, but really, really pleased with the response uh, when we came out for the second half. Go ahead, Matt. Robin, what does, I really hope I'm able to pronounce this name correctly, uh, Karaskia, what was uh, what problems was he presenting the team, particularly in the midfield, and how did you go about adjusting that throughout the I'll say throughout the halftime and then into the second half? Yeah, he's a good player. Um, I didn't really know much about him before today, but he's a, he's an interesting and creative midfielder who's very comfortable with the ball at his feet, and I think. Uh, we were a little bit too stretched out in the first half, which allowed him a good deal of room, and I thought he did really well. Uh, he was able to free himself up when pressure came, get himself facing forward, and was really, uh, I think, a constant st a threat throughout the second half of the first half. Uh, in terms of adjustments, how to deal that we just talked about angles of approach and, and our, our distances from each other, and I felt like we were more dense in the second half and it just gave him a little less room to operate but uh, I think he's a quite a good player yeah I almost missed it because I was busy complaining and wanting a free kick <laughs> a couple of passes before but uh, I think you're absolutely right this is the thing about this group that they're starting to get really confident and have real self-belief and uh, it was a moment where we smelled blood a bit um, and the precision of the last couple of passes and then the final cross I thought was excellent. And as I said, I'm distracted, worried about the free kick or the, the potential foul. And they remained focused enough to recognize that this was a real opportunity. And I, I thought the, the intensity with which we moved from the middle of the field to the end of the field was fantastic and really indicative of a team that, as I said, smelled blood and recognized this was a really good opportunity. Uh, Robin, I guess, I guess on that note, you know, like you said, um, you know, how much of this win, kind of similar to others that we've seen, is an indication that the team, you know, can you know, have some struggles and moments, the opponent can present some difficulties and then they find the way to win in the end, even if it's not pretty, you know, and I think that was, you know, again, indicative in how clutch I would say the second goal was, and then particularly in the adjustments with Galvan coming off to see out the game and really make stoppage time less frantic than it was for the first 60 minutes or so. Yeah, I think this team is, <clears throat> as they grow in confidence, and we've obviously done a number of different things this year in terms of how we've played, how we've attacked, how we've defended. And we never really vary or we never really stray far from our principles. So regardless of what's going on, there are certain principles that, that we have to adhere to. And I think they've really bought into that and they recognize that when they do these things, 
uh, good things happen for them. So um, what we're seeing is the adjustments that are being able to be made on the fly and individual decisions that are, are really critical decisions that will either allow the opposition some room or give them something that's really not that dangerous. Uh, that really comes down to guys making really good decisions. And I, I'm, I'm certainly impressed with our ability to adapt because that's one thing about this league that's that's uh, really interesting versus some other leagues that with the different the number of different uh, types of coaches in this league and the conditions and the various conditions around the country um, the number of players that are coming from different places all these teams play so differently and every week it's a completely different challenge I think in certain leagues in other countries, teams are pretty similar and they play similarly. But one of the big adjustments in this league is to be able to deal with teams that are radically different on a Saturday from the team you're going to see on a Wednesday and the team you're going to see the next Saturday. And it really is a testament to the team's maturity and their ability to read situations and, and think collectively, which I think is probably the biggest key to to us continuing to do well and we we do a lot of things as a team and when we can think defensively as a team together uh, certainly it helps uh, negate the opposition strength even as those strengths change within a game so uh, really proud of of the ability to adapt go ahead with the follow-up Matt uh, Robin, the second half stoppage time, uh, in second half stoppage time, the game was halted due to some abusive language. Um, I couldn't hear from the broadcast um, what it was specifically, so I won't speculate on whether it was the P word or other words that we've heard. Um, but, you know, your, your thoughts on in that moment, the decision by the referee and kind of what that says about macro, how the sport and the league are trying to deal with something that's still, um, unfortunately, so rampant in our society. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's really, <clears throat> it's really important. Um, you know, society is, is changing now. Things that have always been able to just be swept under the rug really aren't being swept under the rug anymore. And that's, a, as you said, macro statement. It, it deals with a lot of things in society. And uh, I think for a lot of us, really, we had no idea the significance of that. I mean, I've been playing for a long time and played a number of games in Mexico and played a bunch of games against Mexican teams. And you hear that all the time. And for the longest time, I don't think any of us knew this was a homophobic slur. And it's really over the last number of years that's come to light. <clears throat> and uh, I think it's excellent that not only our league, but leagues around the world are trying to crack down on this. Because at the end of the day, I think that um, you know that sort of thing is just not tolerated anymore, anywhere. And it's good that the league is, is taking a stand on it. I would have liked for the game to have ended and just been over. But having said that, uh, I certainly appreciate what it is the league is doing and how they're going about it. Yeah, we have a, an interesting team in that we have a lot of young players, a lot of very young players. We have some young players who are really becoming like full-time pros now and playing a lot and so they have to adapt with some of these these decisions but we also have seasoned players late 20s they've been around they've played a while they've been through a lot of games so they have a lot to add to that and then we have some older guys in their 30s who <clears throat> have really been around the league a long time and uh, they've been really important closing games down. Uh, I, I don't want to single guys out because I think as a group we're doing really, really well. But the maturity of having uh, Drew Moore and Stephen Betashore and Colin Warner, uh, just to name a few of guys who've been around the league, played in a lot of different teams and uh, been on successful teams, um, their leadership is, is exceptional. And we've seen a lot of games that have been closed down with one, two, or three of them on the field, and certainly they they lend their experience and they bring their experience and they pass it on, and you start to see the younger players making decisions um, that are based on what is it going to take to close this game out. We have a lead. Do we take a chance versus do we do the safe thing? And that can govern your decisions offensively and defensively. And I think that we have a lot of guys who uh, it, it display really, really great veteran leadership and the younger guys the guys under them have just embraced it and when 
when you start to do things and you see the results that they produce, then it just reinforces what you're doing. And I, I think what we're seeing is a maturation process of a lot of the younger players and really utilizing the experience that we have in some of the older players.